And that was when Baba also completely changed, created a trust of eight sisters, eight mothers, surrendered everything to those mothers. He was able to do efforts after this realization, who is asking me to do it? Destruction could not, the vision of destruction could not change him. The vision of attainments could not change him. But when he realized who is asking me to do this, let me also every time ask myself, who is asking me to change? Who is asking me to change? When there's deep realization, you will find that th there will be complete change in the sanskars. Till now, we have complaints. What are our complaints are? Oh, I don't have that determination. You know, the power of determination is not there. Are you sure we don't have the power of determination? We all have the power of de determination. We have brought so many changes till now on the basis of that power. When we come to Baba, listen to the seven days course, and after that, when we feel, yes, it is God's knowledge, God is giving us this understanding, and we start bringing about a change in our lifestyle. We adopt the principles. Is it difficult or easy? Adopting the principles, is it difficult or easy? We adopt it very easily. Very easily. No matter if there is any confrontation, someone is like putting obstacles, still we have so much of power, we overcome all those obstacles and we are able to bring about the change. We adopt those principles because we have understood who is asking me. Adopting purity, the most difficult thing, became easy for us. Adopting a sattvic li lifestyle became easy for us. To give up the, mm, the food, what we were having, all those dirty food, we gave it up in a second. And sattvic lifestyle we are able to adopt. So, isn't that determination? That is determination. Waking up Amrit Vela has become natural for us. Before 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you didn't used to get up. And Sundays it was so difficult. Why should we get up? But after becoming Baba's children, it has become a natural lifestyle. Change. And it is so natural that now we cannot sleep after 3.30. We cannot sleep. We wake up. Remember, do meditation. Isn't it? So all the principles which today when people listen in the world, they wonder, how can you do it? But that was because of Baba's love that we were able to do it. Without Baba's love, can we do it? Not only Baba's love, love for the self. We started loving ourselves. And so we started following all the principles in a natural way, isn't it? We started following all the principles in the natural way. It became easy for us. Nothing was difficult. 
So when we have done so much now, what is left? Only some small, small weaknesses. And we become handicapped. It's too difficult to change this weakness. It is too difficult. Why? When we have given up so many things, we have changed so many things. So it becomes easy, small weaknesses only, no? And if we, the more we love ourselves, it will become easy for us to change. The more I am able to accept my original self, myself in those original eternal qualities, the transcendental qualities, the seven values, the embodiment of seven values. The more I'm able to be that, stay in that form, all these weaknesses can just go. Because as it is said in the world, that an iron cuts an iron, a diamond cuts a diamond. Similarly, a sanskar cuts a sanskar. My original eternal sanskars, the more I am able to emerge those sanskars, be that embodiment, the more it will be able to cut the old sanskars. Because the old sanskars have emerged because of lack of the eternal sanskars. So when I emerge those, they overlap and these are, this become merged for another uh, 2500 years. So sanskars cut sanskars. So that is why Baba says, emerge your original eternal sanskars. Adi sanskars and Adi sanskars, emerge those. The sanskars of the beginning of golden age, the sanskars of uh, the Paramdham, eternal sanskars. When we emerge those sanskars, then these sanskars can just vanish off. It can be finished. Sanskar cuts sanskars. Iron cuts an iron. Diamond cuts a diamond. Sanskar cuts sanskars. So again and again in Avyakta Murli's Baba is uh, reminding us of our original eternal sanskars or the sanskars of the new age, the golden age sanskars. So that we come in that, that intoxication and become that. The more I'm able to become that, these sanskars are uh, nothing. It can be gone easily. Another thing, in order to overcome these sanskars, Amritvela, the best time. Because we get blessings from Baba and we are able to overcome them, get rid of them completely. But how? How can we get rid of them? How do we get rid of them? At Amritvela? What happens? We have to understand this. You know, in the world, people have come up with this book, Secret. And the principle in the secret book says that our brain does not understand no. So many a times what happens, we sit at Amrit Vela, Baba, give me the strength today, I should not get angry in any any. In any way, I should not get angry. Baba, give me the power. And whenever we think about that, 
that day will get angry the most. Why does it happen so? Huh? Yes. According to this secret, the brain does not understand. No, this word no doesn't understand. So, Baba, today I don't have to get angry. I should have no anger. Give me the strength. Now, when I say no anger, the no is not understood by the brain. So, he rejects the word no. I should, I should get angry. And that is why we get angry the most that day. Is that it? So, if people in the world without this godly knowledge, they have understood this secret. So, if I want to overcome my uh, weak sanskars, what do I have to give the affirmation? Opposite, yes. I am a peaceful soul and take Sakash from Baba and give Sakash to the peaceful self. So I empower myself with that peace. And then you will see the whole day you will remain peaceful, no matter what consequences may come. But you are peaceful which is so charged, your peaceful self, which is so charged with Baba Sakash, you will remain peaceful. So that is why I said, sometimes we know our weakness is where it is. And we are trying to tell Baba, this weakness should not come today. You know? it, should not, it, not, it should not function today. Eh? Mm -hmm. It should not make me Handicap, it should not function in any way. Baba, give me the strength. So Baba is giving the strength, but the strength is going to whom? I should not get angry. Baba, give me the strength. Now Baba is giving the strength, the Sakash. The Sakash is going to whom? Anger. That is why we get angry the most. That weakness is not removed. So, when understanding Baba's knowledge, we stabilize ourselves in the eternal self, the embodiment of seven values, and I take the Sakash from Baba and make that form powerful. So, when that form becomes powerful, no weakness can ever make me handicapped. Right? This is how I overcome my weak sun scars. Right? Yeah. Yes, it works. We emerge our divine sanskars. The sanskars of the beginning, golden age. So when I emerge my original sanskars of golden age, the divine sanskars, and I take sakash and give that, uh, fill that sakash in those divine sanskars, then my sanskars can completely change. This is the right technique. Who is asking me to change? First realization. When I am becoming the embodiment of this old sanskars, then the fruits has to be experienced by me alone and nobody is going to be my partner. Huh? No one is going that deep sun that deep realization. And then when Supreme Being is asking me to change, the love for him 
and the love for the self enables me to bring that change. Because Baba loves me, I love myself. Who is loving me? God Himself. This deep realization. And so if He loves me, I love myself. And if I love myself, I let me become the embodiment of my eternal existence. An Amrit Vela takes Akash and fill myself, fill myself with that power, the supreme power. And you will see how things start changing. Recently, I was experimenting on one aspect, and that is, we, lo- we all know our weaknesses, isn't it? Where our weaknesses are. Supposing I take one weakness, anger. Now, sometimes I sa- see Brahmins also coming to Madhuban. What they do, they go to Baba's room, and there is a box, letters to Baba. So they write letters to Baba. Baba, I'm fed up of this weakness and I am giving it to you here in Madhuban. I am renouncing it here. And I need your power that it should not come back. So they put the letter in that letter box. I have given my weakness to Baba. And they go back. And what happens the next year they come? The same letter. That is why Baba has been asking us, how much time do you need to change? Last Murli also he asked, how much time do you need? One year? Two years? And so many years have gone. And we still can't change those small weaknesses. Now, why doesn't it change? It is just as I said yesterday, supposing there is darkness in this room and someone comes up and says, remove this darkness, remove this darkness. Darkness cannot be removed. Why? Because it does not have a source. So you can't pick it up and throw it outside. It is absence of light. Light has a source. Absence of light that the darkness is there. Similarly, the weakness is because weakness is like darkness, which does not have a source. It is absence of power that the weakness is there. So, every time I write a letter to God, I am trying to renounce that weakness, but how can it happen? Because it does not have a source. So, I cannot remove it. I give it to Baba, but it it doesn't go to Baba. I again am carrying forward with with me when I come out of Madhuban. I'm again carrying it back with me. And then again and again, I am suffering because of that weakness. And then we sometimes become hmm, disheartened, thinking, at Amrit will I wrote this letter. At Amrit will I in Pandav Bhavan I wrote this letter. At Amrit Vela, in Pandavan, in Baba's hut, I sat and wrote this letter. And still, why is it that the weakness is not leaving me? We get disheartened. Isn't it? But remember, weakness is because absence of power. Power has source, almighty is the source of all powers. So, power has source, weakness has no source. 
so we cannot remove it. So just take this small weakness, anger, okay? Now, if I analyze, why did I have this anger? Which power am I lacking? And I realize maybe power of tolerance brings that anger in me. I'm lacking power of tolerance. Maybe I'm lacking power of patience. Sometimes some people are very impatient. Jaldi karo, jaldi karo. And then when somebody is not according to their speed, working according to their speed, they get irritated and they get they burst out with anger, isn't it? So maybe I'm lacking this power of patience. Or maybe the power of silence. There is no silence inside. I'm not peaceful in, internally. That's why it has become my nature to just bring out that anger again and again, that irritation comes out in form of anger. So either one of these powers, or sometimes all the three powers are missing. Now, if I realize these are the, these are the powers that are missing, and that is why the weakness is there. Right? So every day at Amrit Vela, I sit and I invoke the power of tolerance continuously for a week or so. Continuously for one week, I invoke that power of tolerance. And you will see, when I invoke that power from the source, gradually I empower myself with that power. And you'll see after one week, all those times when uh, something happened and normally you would have got irritated, got angry because of this lack of power. But now that since one week I'm invoking it and I've empowered myself with the power of tolerance, in those situations also, I will remain quiet. We have mastered that weakness, overcome it. Similarly, if all the three powers are missing, then one week continuously, I invoke the power of tolerance. Another week continuously, I invoke the power of patience. And the third week, I Im invoke the power of peace. After three weeks, you will find anger is completely gone. A person's hand is moving, shaking, and you say, don't shake your hand. Don't. But it is weakness, no. No strength. Either I take in that food, that nutrients, and when the weakness is filled, the shaking will stop. It will have strength, isn't it? The same thing, whatever weakness is there, it is because of the absence of power. So at Amrit Vela, I invoke that power from Baba, empower myself with that power, and within a week's time, you'll find that weakness is filled. I become powerful. Right? So in a year, how many weeks? 52. Huh? We don't have 52 weakness, do we? We don't have 52 weaknesses, right? Okay, let us take half of it. Half of it is 26. We don't have that much also, I think. Okay, chal, look, we have that much also, 26 weaknesses. If for two weeks I invoke the power and empower that weakness, within a year's time, can't we be perfect? Can't we reach the stage of perfection? 
Yes? No. Is it difficult? We need to first make a list of all our weaknesses. And then against that, which are the powers that we are lacking? And Baba is there to fill that power in me. He's offering me. Child, take my help. I'm ready to help you. When he's ready to help me, and if still I'm not taking his help, after all these years, otherwise I could have become perfect in one year. But maybe till now we did not realize this right technique. Now that we understand, every day for a week we invoke that power. We empower ourselves. We empower ourselves with that divinity. And then you will see how much your form will be so beautiful. You will love yourself. You love yourself or not? And if I love myself, I love Baba. And by year end, I will become complete what Baba wants me to be. And that is my love for Baba. So first, I have to love myself so that I bring this change in myself. I become so beautiful internally. And then you see, you don't have to like love Baba, but we are attracted. The big magnet, Baba always says, the big magnet always attracts all the magnets. Mm -hmm. And we become Babsama. It is easy for us to become like the Father. Babsama becomes easy, isn't it? So to change the sanskars, Easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? So, by the end of this year, end of this retreat, no, it's too, too early. <laughs> end of the year, we'll become, we'll love ourselves so much, we'll become so beautiful that immediately we will be like attracted. Every time Baba will attract us and we'll go closer and closer and closer and become like the Father. Right? So, that is the technique. Some few weeks back I realized this. Why don't we adopt this technique? And maybe in a gathering if we have adapt this technique, will become fast because of the vibrations. Baba always tells us that in a gathering, when you take up a thought and you start uh, practicing that, then you'll find that the result will be faster. The result will be faster. And we can become like Baba. So we don't get disheartened because we can easily become like the Father. And that is when I'll enjoy my spiritual life. All the spiritual endeavors or efforts that we make will be done with so much of love. Because this realize, and when we see that change, that we wanted it to happen all these years, that will make me even more enthusiastic. And the zeal and enthusiasm will increase. Now I have found the road. Now I can move fast. It? it will become easy for us. So before time ends, let me become complete. And Baba has promised that if it is more than 108, we will put Hmm? He'll add the Lari. So definitely if all of us. And I was churning one day, who will come in the 108 rosary? 
What do you think? Who will come in the 108 rosary? And I realized that in the 108 rosary, there will be a sample of each one. Just as many a times, Baba gives us this example. Mama was a Kumari and Baba was old. Mama was huh, a Kumari and Baba was a householder. Mama huh, was enthusiastic or was able to do. Baba was old and he had some huh, health problems also. So, But still, if they became number one, if they made efforts and became number one, so it made me realize that there will be a sample of each one in the 108 rosary. So nobody can say, oh, I was so busy that I did not get time to make efforts. So there will be one most busiest person. Baba would show you, look at, if he can do, why can't he? There will be a mentally dis disabled child. If he can do, why not you? You were okay. If this disabled can do, mentally retarded person can do, make efforts, get into that rosary of 108, why can't you? A sample of maybe a person who has been long time in bed, bedridden, but lying there also, if was remembering Baba, serving nature, the vibrations. Recently, I met a sister who is bedridden. She met with an accident, and since that accident, she was bed. She is bedridden, but she's so happy, so happy. All this year, she's in the bed, and she does not feel as if. And if someone feels sorry, she doesn't like. She says, don't feel sorry for me. I am the most happiest person. And seeing her, I realized, why should we get disheartened of small things? So there will be a sample of that person also in that 108 rosary. Seeing her, I, I, I got confirmed. She is in that 108. She is in that, because she is so happy. She says, lying here on the bed, I don't complain. I know my some past karmas, fruits I'm getting, but I'm trying to settle it with great happiness. And I want to be happy, and I want to finish this account very quickly, very easily. So I remember Baba, I churn knowledge, I give vibrations to the nature, I spread vibrations here in the room, I make people happy, whoever comes to me, this is the service that I can do. Don't you think this soul can go in the rosary of 108? So there will be a sample of each one. So we can never say, Baba, it was because of this that I was not able to make efforts. Baba would immediately show you that sample. If this soul can do, can't you do? Really, I saw that sister, and she's so happy. Always positive, always positive. She talks so nicely, so nicely. Whoever goes up to her to see her, she talks so beautiful, very positive always radiating with that happiness in the bed, in the bed. And we are so good in every way. And still we can't be happy. We can't be positive. We have many complaints in our lives. And those souls who have so many complaints, but still they don't complain to Baba. Still they don't complain to Baba. 
what are we doing so if i want to become a bead of that rosary from today that's when i realize that soul she loves herself so much see she has accepted whatever she condition she is in no complaints to baba she says i never complain to baba i have i know it is some of my karmic accounts that i am going through and as baba told me in one of the murli settle it with happiness so i'm settling it with great happiness and i feel it is going to be over very soon the positive energy that she radiates everybody is going to see her she is attracting so many people she was in shantivan she specially came to meet baba in that condition she said once i want to meet baba once only once and we all know that nowadays baba we see on the screen she saw baba on the screen itself but still she is so happy i have come to madhuban and i feel so fortunate so positive when i specially went to see her really i was amazed how can such a person have no complaints and be so happy she was charging everyone and there was a line to see her to meet her to take that energy from her so many mothers in the line so when i went to i had to cross the line i said i'm so sorry but at least and i i, I was surprised really it made me feel that we were we are all so much okay and still why do we have complaints so from that day i said no complaints now always be happy generate that vibrations of happiness whatever accounts are let us settle with happiness every day in the morning invoke the power and empower the self and finish off those weak sanskars completely and in a year we can all do that yes let this outcome be of this retreat we promise ourselves to always be happy no matter what comes up no matter how people behave with me maybe whatever people say or whatever in, instead always be happy always be happy never have any regrets or any complaints no this person did like this so i was not happy today this person behaved like this or said this words so my happiness is gone why that soul played his part let me play my part if that person is playing the part of a villain why can't i play the part of a hero he is offering me i am playing the part of a villain you be the hero he is offering me so why should i be a villain with him isn't it in one of the murlis baba said i remember it was i think 14th may 2021 murli of i i don't forget that murli i don't forget that murli i have a copy of it in my phone also i've kept a copy of it and that murli is so powerful and in that baba has mentioned this that when every soul is playing their role accurately and if somebody is playing a role of a villain that is accurate so he is offering you to play the part of a hero why do you want to become a villain with him 
if he is offering let me take that role no because people are going to see whom a hero or a villain so if someone is uh, playing that part of a villain okay fine you can play that part i will play the other part and what will be the part of a hero if he is playing the part of a villain what will be the part of a vil- of a hero very beautiful people will applause and say once more what a beautiful part you have played huh? and they know him also and they know and when they see you also how could you do it they will say how could you do it and you can say because i wanted to be the hero isn't it that will feel that enthusiasm in us and will definitely play that part in a natural way in a natural way so it is easy to change the sanskars a new vision for a new world right a new vision for a new world let us take this vision and we love ourselves so much that we play the most beautiful part no regrets no complaints no disheartenment huh? always full of energy full of enthusiasm and zeal that is loving yourself and loving baba right okay fine any questions no questions anger that weakness because in golden age and silver age there was no anger after that values depleted from copper age gradually we started becoming angry the five vices we became the embodiment of that because those values were gone that divinity was gone that power was gone so we became weak so those weaknesses came up even not that originally that is not my original form that is after copper age only the power was gone so okay no questions any questions no no we are not interfering with drama we are not interfering with drama but that is our drama that is our drama it was just that the understanding was not accurate that we were not able to play our roles well but now that we have understood this is something that can bring the change very fast easy so that is drama that is drama yes Hmm. That's why I said first you sit with yourself, take out the list of your weaknesses. Yesterday we saw specialities. Today, take out a list of your weaknesses, and then. which power do we lack that we have that weakness we analyze that in our personality and then whichever you feel, you feel should be first you start with that whichever you feel 
this I have to work on first. This is my first concern because this is creating a lot of problems, obstacles in the life. So let me handle this first. That's why it is said, no, whatever is happening in our life, nobody else is responsible. I am responsible. We all know. So when we are responsible for whatever is happening in our life, then I have to find out where to begin with. Which is it that is creating lot of problems? Let me start there with that. Yes. So there also I realize what is that that is coming in between our interaction, in our behavior, that they are doing injustice. Okay, if I do not find, then maybe some past life karmic accounts are there. So I accept it. Just as I said that sister, she accepted. She is bedridden. Maybe my past karmic accounts. Because in this life I have not done anything such. Maybe my past karmic life is there. And let me finish it happily. Give Sakash to that person in the morning hours who is doing injustice to you again and again. Give Sakash. Finish it or clear it. Some past accounts. Otherwise, it won't happen in that way. Okay, I'm sure.